or the person I wanted to uh, talk about today was my dad. And uh, a lot of the older people know him as Uncle Cecil, and um, or Grandpa. <laughs> but uh, my dad uh, grew up in this area. His family moved here from Alabama when he was uh, a young boy, and they his dad bought a big. Um, piece of property on the Brazos River and um, so my dad loved this area and I have to tell you he uh, after him and my mom got married they moved to Houston uh, for money because the jobs were in Houston so I grew up in the city and when we came up here I just looked at this place like you know I like the family but everything else it was hot and there were sticker birds everywhere and I could not for the life of me imagine why my dad wanted was just always talking with such affection for this country up here. He loved the farmland. And um, now every time I come here and I drive up that Woodbury Road and see all the, the maize or the corn or the hay or whatever, um, I just think about how much my dad loved this area and how he that would have just been his dream is to own about a hundred acres up there on that road and um, be a farmer. So my dad worked as a pipe fitter for uh, 50 years in uh, Houston and then he retired and uh, his uh, idea of retirement was to move to Whitney and become a peanut farmer. And um, he farmed peanuts uh, every day from sunup to sundown or whatever he do in the not peanut season. He was still out working every day until he had a stroke in his uh, late 70s. And um, my dad was, uh, um, he was a man of um, simplicity. My dad told me when I was growing up that people only needed two pair of shoes, one for Sunday and one for working. And first of all, I thought that people needed a lot more shoes than that. And second of all, I didn't think people needed to be working. <laughs> so I didn't want any work shoes. But uh, my dad was a very hard worker and um, he did instill that in me. He um, probably thought I was a lost cause because I was the third born of uh, three girls and um, there was nine years difference between uh, me and my next sister and I was definitely the school baby. So, um, but my dad did convince me somehow or other that working was a good thing and um, I passed that on to um, my sons and uh, they were both very hard workers, and I know what my dad went through because when he came a little while, didn't think it was going to take. But um, anyway, uh, I just wanted to share about my dad and um, this the area he grew up in. And um, my mom was a Conger, my dad a Patterson, and um, they um, they both grew up in this area. And my mom actually went to school in this building. Uh, was a one room school or room school and um, Geneva also went to school here and uh, Sam's mom Aunt Mary um, went to school many years ago.